Hello and welcome to what is this episode three oh nine? Welcome, Bruce and Ed. Laugh Happy to York. have you. You were watching me eat earlier, but now I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is recorded. Yeah. If they were watching live, you saw him eating breakfast, but we're finished now, for now. Anyway, good morning. How are you? Or good evening, good night, good middle of the night, depending on where you're watching us from. We are, um, this is a big milestone for us. I'm Bruce, by the way. And I'm Ed. And we are live from New York, noon New York time, Monday through Friday. Happy and Monday. Yes. And um, or Tuesday if you're in Australia, whatever, <laughs> wherever, or it could be like uh, you know April. You could be watching this recorded, but right. um, anyway. <laughs> Either way, we love you here. Yes, and this is a big milestone for us because this week, see the la the reason I haven't been on Twitter a lot lately, if you've been following me on Twitter, is that we have been working really hard on this little web studio. In fact, let me bring it up. Let me see if I can uh, show you what it looks like. Let's see here. Uh, if I can get to it. But anyway, we've been setting up our little web TV studio. Oh, I know how I can do it. I can go to my um, my website. If you go to BruceWagner.com, wow, look how that made, made us dark. If you go to BruceWagner.com and then go down to Flickr, yeah, there it is. Let me bring this up so you can see it. Um, there's a picture. I took a picture of our web studio. There it is. Um, can you see that? Wait, let me make it bigger. Up, 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 up. Where is it? Where is it? All sizes. Here we go. There. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see it or not. But anyway, if you go to BruceWagner.com and you look at my Flickr studio, you see this is a little picture of what our web studio looks like, our little web TV studio here. So you can see there's like wires and cables and stuff everywhere. But um, <clears throat> we've been working on setting this thing up for the last half a week or more. And um, this is a big milestone because now we're, do, we're doing it for real. We're doing our show for real. Um, but the plan is we're going to have somebody on Skype here, a guest host on Skype. And we're all set up to do that. In fact, if any of you guys have Skype and uh, you want to be on, let us know. Here comes some people. Cool. And, and Anthony, well, you we'll have to see if Anthony's ready to come in. But if, if Anthony gets on Skype, <laughs> then go to BruceWagner.com and click live show. Watch our live show. Can you mute that? Mute. Um, click watch our live show, and then you will uh, be able to go into the chat room and let me know. Just type into the chat room and let me know that you're on Skype. You need Skype. Where's my? So good morning, everybody. It says hello and welcome. I'm volunteering. I need Skype. Well, if you need Skype, it's free. Just go to Skype.com. S K Y P E dot com. And click download and install it. And if you have uh, a mic, you'll need a microphone or a headset. But um, if you have a webcam, it's even better because then we can see you right mm -hmm. here. And whoever wants us. a kiss, mwah, lots of kisses. Mm -hmm. Kisses from New York. <laughs> it's a, everybody needs a kiss yes. and a hug. So it's that doesn't um, cost anything, especially on Money Mondays. Well, it depends on where you're buying it, you know. <laughs> but the thing is that it's a really cloudy, gloomy day in New York. So raining, raining and ugly. But um, what's the temperature? It says 43 degrees and cloudy. Normally we get a lot more um, <laughs> sunshine <laughs> at noon, but uh, looking good. So today's Money Monday. Yes. Th this is Dr. Frugal. I call him Dr. Yeah. Frugal. He's the king of saving money, and uh, we're going to talk about money things. We don't. This week we we really don't have any um, official, you know, guests hosts lined up we're just gonna chat we're just gonna have right. a little coffee chat you got your coffee yes cool. okay i'm using my out in what is it television, out in television and film mug mm -hmm. here's a shout out to them right anyway so this is our first uh broadcast with uh, our new well not new but yeah. our system our, our new <clears throat> web tv studio Right. We got all these cameras and all these. I didn't know what we were going to need. You know, you know how technology is. You never really know what you need until you do it. The salesman says, "Oh yeah, it'll work." Everybody says it'll work. You know, "Oh yeah, you can do that. You can do that," because it's true. I mean, I, when I was 18, I worked at a computer store, and we know you can do that with a computer with enough money and time. Yeah. If you're if lots you're, of money. If you're Bill Gates, you can make an Apple II Plus do amazing things. But the fact of the matter is yeah. that it doesn't always work the way advertised. And sometimes it works a lot better. Some things just plug it in and it works the first time and you're like, oh, thank you, God. Other times you can just stick with it forever and it isn't going to work. Yeah. 
we thought we were going to need five computers to do this because we're doing something really novel. I think it's novel. The, the, the key is we're doing it five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We're doing a live video audio broadcast, which hopefully it looks good. How do, by the way, read the chat room and tell us how yeah, does the yeah. video look good? They're saying voice and pics much cleaner than much before. Much better than before. Yeah, because we're using a three CCD camera streaming FireWire directly into a dedicated computer that is sadly using Microsoft Vista, but it was required because this really cool software from Adobe called Flash Media Encoder is what we're using, and it is actually encoding it, our video, directly from a camcorder, not a webcam, but a camcorder, into Flash and the audio track into MP3 before it streams it out live. And it's also recording it uh, directly to the computer that way for our recorded version. So we're glad if it looks a lot better. Yes, and it's thanks to Bruce, of course. He's the technical whiz. Yeah, thanks to Bruce. Who's Bruce? Oh, <laughs> me. <laughs> I've been just kind of standing on the sidelines just watching him go. Say hi, say hi Probably to better. Wife. <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. hey! <laughs> Shout out to Katie and Milan. How and are you, baby? We got somebody in Catalonia by the sea. I love you, my Is that darling in Spain, wife. By the way, Milan. Catalonia by the sea. It says, but at least you're in New York. It's even more dull at Catalonia by the sea. Caton, cat, Catatonia. Well, they spelled it wrong. I think. Is that Catalan? Is it? But I think I it's know. Spain. Is what I'm thinking. And someone. Ciao, hello. Sisters. To our friends in Italy. Hello. <laughs> Everybody needs a kiss. So, let's see, what else? All right, so we're streaming it live. Oh, what I was getting at is we're doing it five days a week. We have a staff of two, we have a budget of zero, and we're, we're doing some amazing things. This technology, somebody tweeted to me the other day and said, you know, can you imagine how much this little web TV studio would have cost 10 years ago? And you, that's just amazingly profound. In fact, I mean, you could have done the audio and the video and the cameras and all that, if you had a couple million, two, three million dollars, but the computing power, you couldn't have bought it for ten million dollars. <laughs> you couldn't have bought the computing power of, you know, five dual core, 64 bit. They didn't have that stuff. I mean, you would, it would take mainframes, I think, to do that much computing power. And, then, and even if they had it, they didn't have the software, of course. That it's we, we've come so far in technical stuff. But today's money, money. We're, we're not talking about and that. Yeah, and it's become so cheap, and yeah. that's what we're talking about. It's insanely today. cheap. We, you know. What was this package that went on sale yesterday? It's a it's a compact dual core 64 bit Athlon AMD, right? Yeah. And with the monitor, whatever size that monitor is, 19 it's, inches. It's all compact. And how much is it? 359. Oh, this 359 dollars. Of course, this is in the U.S. This is actually plus appropriate tax. because this is Money Monday, saving money. So if you need a computer, where is it at Staples? It's at Staples this Here's week. It's actually a great deal. Would you find it? Uh, no, it's Staples.com. It's their package. <laughs> deal that they have okay uh, so if you're interested in a computer it might be a good time to buy one because it comes with a monitor for 359 it's crazy cheap that's just crazy and it's equal to the same computer we're using to stream this right now well that is the machine we bought mm -hmm. it in fact it, we, we paid seventy dollars more right two, day, two days later it went on sale at another store staples for seventy dollars less or whatever I mean their computer sales are expected to be really down you know the economy and all that so um, you you can you know, we used to think that getting a tower for under four hundred dollars was like insanely cheap. Now, getting the tower and a big widescreen, high def monitor. What is it? Nineteen inch monitor. It's very for nice. Three with what is speakers it, built in. We got very it for nice. four sixty six. No, but now what is it now? Three fifty nine plus tax. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Staples dot com. Okay, and they're not paying us. They're not a sponsor. So no. But if they would like to pay us, you know, call me and I'll give you the address where you can send the check. Right. But and just to let you know that anything that we're talking about here, we're not getting paid for. We're just, you well, know. Unless we say otherwise. Unless we tell you otherwise, of course. Okay. Now, this little timer, we're going to introduce you to this. This is an iPhone timer. And this little sound means that we have to take a YouTube break. For those of you watching on YouTube, click the button to go to the next part. Okay? And we'll be right back after the jump. See ya. And we're back. This is part two. Hey. <laughs> Wasn't that amazing? YouTube is so high tech. We have a 10 minute limit on YouTube, but that's okay. Yeah. You know, that'll change. Once we become a partner, I think we can have an unlimited time length. But uh, for now, we'll do that. Right. So uh, we take Hopefully a Hopefully it's not too much of an interruption. Yeah, our three second YouTube commercial break. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Where there's no commercial. <laughs> 
Anyway, um, so this is like a test run. This week, we are actually, it's not a test run. I mean, we're doing the actual show. We're just chatting with you. Um, if you have Skype and you've got a webcam right now and you're in the chat room, just type in your username and we'll call you and we'll bring you up here on the big screen since we don't have a, a guest host uh, arranged this Lined week. Up, right. So this week we really we have topic categories, by the way. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So money is Monday. Money, personal finance, bargain shopping and all that stuff is Monday. Tuesday is body, health, fitness, health issues, anything to do with money. I mean, sorry, body, uh, health, fitness, fitness and nutrition. nutrition, right? And then Wednesday is love, which is dating, yeah. relationships, sex, and all that. And then, <laughs> <laughs> then Thursday is personal technology made easy, which is one of my fetishes. Then Friday is celebrity stuff, and we've got some some big stuff we're working on there. That's all yeah. I say. That's all I'm going to say for now. But um, I don't want to jinx it. So hopefully this week, since we won't be working with all the technical issues, we'll be lining up the yeah. guests so exactly. you, can, you guys can benefit from exactly. other people's expertise as well. So it takes a little time to set up a... You know, if you want to do an audio uh, podcast, it's so easy. I give you the recipe in like five or six steps, but that's on Thursday. You have to come back and watch Thursday's show mm -hmm. for that. But to do a video like this where you're doing it live and it's ending up as a video podcast and an audio podcast on iTunes and it's ending up on YouTube and it's streamed live on Ustream, that takes a little bit more planning. That's what we did last week. And, but we did it in like four or five days, I mean, on a very, very tight little budget. So it's it can be done and that's what we've been working on the last week. Now this week we're going to be working on, now that we've got all this set up, we're going to be working this week on lining up topics and fantastic guests because if we can get Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, you know, Deepak Chopra, whoever, um, on Skype, you know, they can be in Thailand. And we have tested this setup with Skype. It works fantastic. They can be in yeah. freaking India, Thailand, Australia, California, any far off land. It doesn't right. matter where they are. And they're like big brother, like right here, bigger than life. And you can right. s you can hear them like as if they're sitting right here, which is very, very, very cool. Right. So this week, now we're going to be working on topics and guests for next week. So we're gonna, you know, get things on the yeah on the uh, on the roll. Light your set. What does that mean? Yes, we're on the air. <laughs> we are on the air. This is it is time for the show. It's 12 noon to 1 p.m. Eastern time, which is like 9 a.m. in California, 11 uh, 11 a.m. in Chicago and Houston and so on. Yeah, it's a great day here. We, so our lighting is based on having bright days. <laughs> Well, yeah, see what we found out. Originally, we, we did a poll and we said, what would be the best time for you to watch? People said 10 p.m. 10 p.m. was number one. 7 p.m. was second. So we thought, well, we'll do it at 10 p.m. New York time, 7 p.m. California. It's perfect. But what we, as soon as we did that, we realized that we we're dark and we're so dark we look yellow. Even with the artificial lighting, we're not lighting experts. I'm in TV and you guys have a good looking set. It just needs lights. That, thank you. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> if you're in New York, come on over. Yeah. All right. We will happily... Um, accept your advice. You need lights. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, so anyway, what we did is we decided to make it at noon because we figure 99% of the audience, you know, we're going to have, you know, eventually we may have hundreds or thousands of people watching it live, but we may have millions of people watching it recorded. So the main thing is that it looks good and it less important what time we actually do it. So we decided by lamps. We have yeah. lamps. Yeah. The lamps are on. Anyway, what we decided to do is at noon, it looks really, really, really good on a normal New York day because this room is all floor to ceiling glass, all wrapped around in floor to ceiling glass. So normal um, natural lighting looks fantastic. But today, this is the gloomiest, cloudiest day. Yeah. Tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow, you'll see a, a major difference. But of course, we don't want to be dependent on the weather. No. And eventually, we'll get more sophisticated. But remember, we're just, this is, you know, baby steps, baby steps. You know, at least you can see us and you can hear us. Right. <laughs> That's the important part. We'll get there. And hopefully, we'll have interesting things that you will want to tune into. Continuous improvement. By the way, if you're in the chat room, you can type slash Nick. Slash and uh, with no space, just slash N I C K, and then your name, and then it'll show up. Uh, your name will show up on the list, or you can just log into UStream if you have a UStream account set up, which is free. So that way we know who you are, and that'll help because we can shout out to your name. So 
Um, let's see, what was I going to say? Oh, so how do I, how does our audio sound? Like, can you hear us? Do we sound distant or anything, or do we sound perfect? CD quality. <laughs> Let us know that as well, if you would. And um, while you're doing that, just type it into the chat room. Um, remember, right now, it's brucewagner.com is my website, and there you can click on the Watch the Live Show. I'm sure you probably did that already to get here. But um, and you, that's where you can also watch the recorded shows on demand anytime if you miss it live, of course. But we're working on uh, setting up a website, uh, which will be bruceanded.com. <laughs> and uh, bruceanded.com, uh, don't go there yet. It's not ready. But it will be. I'm working on that. Once that's set up, you'll be able to watch it um, you know, on demand. You'll be able to um, listen to it streaming audio. You'll be able to subscribe via iTunes, and you'll be able to download MP3s and all that stuff. Because I know that if you're in China or you know, India or Australia or something like that, sometimes the buffering is just too much, especially right. with video. But you'll be able to download the video files directly or the audio files, podcasts, all that stuff. When you download it and listen to it, of course, it's going to sound fantastic without any buffering pauses every few seconds. Right. All right. So <clears throat> you're welcome about Twittering about the show. We're going to be doing that every day to remind people that we're on. And this is still going, right? The timer? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Yeah. We're still on YouTube. All right. So today's Money Monday. Let's get to it because we're 20 minutes in. Monday is Money Day. And with this sagging economy, you know, we like to be stay positive because yeah. really – Economic things are all in our minds anyway, so we want to, you know, put positivity out there. So instead of looking at the gloomy side of everybody being unemployed and everybody, you know, saying, "Oh, I'm busy looking for a job" and so on, um, let's let's. I like to think about it in a positive light. That yeah. this is the time to shop. Right. <laughs> if anybody has money, this is the time to buy real estate. This is the time to buy anything you ever wanted or needed. You can get the most amazing bargains right now. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. So what do you, we didn't prepare anything, but I have some things to talk about, and you probably do too. Yeah. We already talked, to, things to we talk about. talked about that PC deal, which is insane if you need a computer. Right. And um, what else? Well, yeah. Uh, I always like to start with travel because I'm always planning a travel something. And, um, and right now, the latest, best travel bargains that I have found, which I'm like desperately trying to get my family to chime in so we can all go together is uh, there's great there's round trip flights from well this is you know from New York uh, to Spain any pretty much anywhere in Spain on Iberia Airlines it's like 200 and in March and April is two hundred and sixty dollars round trip including taxes to where Spain? to Spain yeah and in May it's three fifty, and also in November it's two fifty again. So, if any of you guys want to go to Spain, this is the time. <laughs> Vicky Cristina Barcelona, <laughs> here we come. <laughs> Italy's better. <laughs> yeah, Italy's know. beautiful That's too. Good. I Italy's love it. in Milan. She wants us to go to, go to Milan. Yeah. <laughs> what? So yeah, where did they get that deal on the airline? Uh, you can go to Iberia Airlines. I don't know their website exactly, but Iberia I can look it up. Um, IberiaAirlines.com. Yeah, Iberia. <laughs> I think. It, anyway, Something. Google. Google is your friend. Iberia. Just Google it. Iberia Airlines. You can do. Yeah, Iberia.com. I B E R I A, and p just plug in. You is know, that what it is? the dates you want, and it'll give you the prices. Uh, but that's an excellent deal. I've never seen. You know, basically, it's a hundred and fifty dollars to travel there, and the rest is in taxes. So. Go figure. It costs more in taxes to get there than the actual airline makes. Uh, so that's like the one that sticks out the best in my mind. Cool. Now, if you're on YouTube, continue by pressing the button to go to the next part. And we'll be right back after this quick break. Just click the button and go to the next part to continue. Right. <laughs> and we're back. Wow, that Hello was a short again. break. It only took a second. Amazing. <laughs> anyway... Um, all right, so back to Iberia. We're going to Milan. When are we going? No. Yeah, I was just trying to plan a trip for my family to go to Spain because we've been, I've been, or we've been to Barcelona and we just love it there. It's just amazing place, and we really would like to see more of Spain. So, so this flight is from New York to where? New York to Madrid, Barcelona. I mean, mm. pretty is much it only anywhere. From New York, or is it from anywhere? They're pretty much any from New York right now. I mean, right. you're gonna pay more than what I quoted you if you're gonna come from somewhere else. But still, that's still a great deal. 
You can get a cheap flight to New York and then just switch if you do your own connection. But make sure you allow plenty of layover time because they don't wait for you. Mm -hmm. Do they have the same deals from like Miami and other places, Atlanta? Uh, I'm not sure because I've only been checking New York. Uh, okay. Because I figured anyone can get to New York for very cheap right now, too. So yeah. New York's easy to get to. But especially if you're coming through New York and you're doing your own connection, make sure it's the same airport because, you know, Newark is not close to JFK. It's it's going to take you, like, half a day to get there. Yeah. And it, you you really don't want to do that kind of a schlep. That's, yeah. that's really nasty. If you can, always, you know, come into the same airport that you're going to go back out of and, and allow, like, three times as much time as you think it's going to take, especially for an international flight, yeah. because, you know, it's just they, they do not wait. And if you're doing your own connections, you know, you think, well, if I land at 3.30, I can, ha I can make a 4.15 flight. No way, right. <laughs> especially not an international flight. Yeah, the other thing is, I mean, pretty much all of Europe is on sale, but that's, like, the cheapest to get to Europe. And sometimes when we go to Europe, we just basically get the cheapest flight that we can and then just jump on a train and go from there. And, um, you know, it's pretty cheap. But if you want to go to Italy, that's like three or $300, $400 right now, too. So it's comparable. Italy. So yes. m my wife, Katie, wants, um, wants us to go to Italy. Yeah. If you want to check out uh, all the travel deals, uh, a place that I like personally and I'm subscribed to on my email, it's called smartertravel.com. And um, there are a dedicated staff there that talks about travel and they find the best bargains and if you subscribe to their email they'll send them to you every time like last minute is it always last minute no not at all I should say for the record um, Katie is uh, one of my Twitter follower buddies Twitter buddies <laughs> Twitter Roddy <laughs> and um, they did this uh, one of those online um, what do you call it like tabloid things mm -hmm. Twitter newspaper made this uh, spoof mock-up of uh, the first wedding via Twitter oh yeah and she uh, they said that I got married to Katie um, and but I'm denying any knowledge of it because I don't remember this happening at all and I'm um, totally being accepting. Yeah, he's being a wonderful husband about <laughs> it. You know, he's totally accepting. And but I would like to meet her someday. <laughs> you know, since we are married. So, uh, but anyway, we love Milan. Oh my God! Remember, Milan is like this part. Milan is like um, it's sort of industrial city, but it's like the most amazing fashion and the most amazing um, nightlife. Remember? Yeah, it's, yeah. I love Milan. It's so awesome. Anywhere in Italy is awesome. <laughs> every, every place in Italy is very, very different than each other, but totally, unbelievably awesome in its own way. We just love. I loved Italy a lot more than um, than I ever thought I would, because everybody talks about it, and I just, I don't know. I never had any interest really, but when I went there, oh my gosh, it's like magical. You know, mm -hmm. Venice and Florence, the food in Florence, the, the atmosphere in Venice, the Rome is, oh my gosh, the Vatican is mind-blowing, and um, Milan was fantastic, so many things. So, you can just say it out loud, you don't have to say, oh, you're typing the link. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to, for the people that okay. are in doubt. So, <clears throat> I'm going to, did you have something else to say about that? Uh, no. Okay. I want to talk about, um, we're, I'm going to talk about this more on Thursday when we do their tech things, but there's this new phone company, cell phone company, that's really not new. I think it started in Florida, at least I know for sure it's been in Florida for a number of years now. It's now in New York City, but they have it everywhere, like all over the country. New York C City seems to be one of the last places that they've added their service. But now it's here, so I think it's really ready for prime time. And I am switching to it from, I have an iPhone with AT&T, but what I'm doing, I'm in the process of doing, is dropping AT&T off my iPhone. Because what I've realized is, I use my iPhone, you know, all the time. <coughs> they have battery issues, as everybody knows. We, we, we love the iPhone so much that we go into denial about things like copy and paste, search and find battery issues, MMS, being able to send and receive pictures on the phone. There's, it has a lot of drawbacks, weaknesses, but a lot of people just kind of like go into denial about that because we love our iPhone. Um, it's so cool. And it, it is fantastic for browsing the web because the way it renders a web page, I, mean, I haven't seen anything equivalent yet, although I'm sure there are some now. But um, what I find that I'm doing with my iPhone is most of the time I'm using it for email or browsing the web. Now, email I can do on an airplane because it's, it's offline. It's, I use the email app, 
which is not the greatest, but it works. So I use the email app offline. So it doesn't matter if I'm in an airplane or a subway. There's no signal. I can do it on an elevator. I'm replying to my email, and as soon as it gets a signal, you know, of course it syncs up. It sends everything out from the outbox, and it receives all the new stuff. Well, you don't need any signal for that. Um, and the other thing that I do is I browse the web page, you know, websites some some. Mm -hmm. But most of the time, I have to say, I have a Generation 1, you know, the original iPhone, and the Edge Network, I think it's called G1 or whatever, it's so slow. I mean, it's painfully slow. It's kind of I, worse, I think. I don't know, but I just, I maybe it's because we're getting more spoiled, but the, it's so, so, so painfully slow that I really don't do it unless I absolutely have to. If I have to look up a showtime because we're on the way to the theater or something like that, I'll use it. But normally, I don't. I wait until I've got Wi-Fi. If you buy one coffee a month at Starbucks, you got free Wi-Fi at every Starbucks, which is like every two blocks in Manhattan, or Wi-Fi at home, of course. So it's really not necessary. I find out I'm, with tax and everything, I'm paying like 155 a month to AT&T, and I'm not even using AT&T for my phone, ex you know, except as a phone. Right. Now, the phone quality has gotten worse and worse. I'm dropping calls. Like I can talk to somebody on the phone for 10 minutes, and then I drop the call. It happens constantly. Yeah. It's gotten worse, I think, where we live anyway. I think maybe, I don't know if there's a tower down or what the heck is going on, but yeah. every 10 minutes we're dropping a call. The call quality is, is really bad, and I can't hear. Like if you're on the street and I'm talking, I, there's no way you can hear anything. The volume is so low, you have to be in a completely silent room. Or have your headsets on. Yeah, or ha but I don't usually, usually use the headsets. And then, so if I want to hear you, I have to put you on speakerphone and hold the speaker up to my ear. That's how bad it is. I have to put you on speakerphone and hold the speaker up to my ear, and then I can hear you in a restaurant. If I'm walking through Times Square, forget it. I can't even do it. I'm gonna have to go inside somewhere. So what I found out with this Metro PCS service, okay, First of all, they have unlimited um, voice, text messaging, and data, although the data is not that great because you're not, I mean, the data is fine, but you're, you're not using it with an iPhone or a smartphone. It's a CDMA phone. But the here's the thing. What I'm doing now is I have one phone for the voice calls, which is the Metro PCS, which is like a $29 phone in the sense that um, you get one month free service when you buy the phone. So it ends up costing you 29 bucks for the phone. There's no contract, no credit check. And the voice quality is like a thousand times better than the iPhone. So I'm, I'm going to cancel the AT&T on the iPhone, use the iPhone only as a mobile internet device. So I use it for my email, I use it for web browsing when there's Wi-Fi. If I really need to browse and there's you know, no Wi-Fi, I just walk to the nearest Starbucks. No problem, right? And, I'm on wi and Wi-Fi, of course, is really, really fast. It's just as fast as your home computer on your Wi-Fi network. Mm -hmm. So. It you know it's you know and it doesn't have to be Starbucks you can use it anywhere wherever they have like they have the public libraries have free Wi-Fi in the whole block you, there's a lot of places if you Google it go to Google and search you know like free Wi-Fi maps or something you'll find that Panera Bread lots of places now have free Wi-Fi mm -hmm. and or just freaking do your email and wait till you get home and then when you get home it'll automatically sync up for you and that's what I use the iPhone for most of all anyway right and then my voice calls work. Mm -hmm. You know, like so many times, here's another thing about it. Well, actually, hold that thought. If you're on YouTube, click to go to the next part, and <laughs> we'll be right back after this jump. Bye. See you in a second. And we're back. Hello wow, again. that was a short break. Anyway, what mm -hmm. I was going to say, to continue that thought, is that... Um, the other thing about the iPhone, I mean, there's a couple other things. One, my battery is worn out, you know? And I don't know, I mean, I... <laughs> What was Apple thinking when they made the battery not removable? You can't change the battery um, without breaking it you know, open and voiding the warranty and all that nonsense. So basically the whole entire device is just as disposable as a worn out battery. That's wrong. That's not, you know, that's what they call um, e-waste. You know, it's really bad for the environment. Imagine when the battery wears out, you throw the whole computer away. And this is a computer. It's a little, little computer, of course. Well, it's ridiculous. So my battery is worn out because I use it, you know, excessively, apparently, and um, it only lasts about an hour. If I leave the house and I'm using it the whole time, the battery only lasts about an hour. Yeah. It's ridiculous. But I think it's just because you've used it so much, because mine lasts a lot longer. Yeah, but it... Well, but the point is true that it just, after a while, it doesn't work because it's a battery. If you use the thing, like, you know, that's what it's made for is to be used. So, you know, if, if I'm, if it's, 
if it's so valuable that I'm using it all the time, I need it to last more than an hour, okay? So I leave the house, and before, you know, we're going to the theater, before the show even starts, the battery's dead. It's useless. As a phone, that is not going to cut it, because you need that phone. You need the use of the phone. I'm browsing the web, and it kills my phone. What's the point? You can't, don't have a phone anymore. So <laughs> that's one part. But then the other thing is, when I'm use during that one hour that I'm using it, Okay, I'm using the Edge network, and what happens with the iPhone, I'm not sure how if this is true on the BlackBerry or the other services, but with the iPhone and AT&T, when I'm using that Edge network on the first generation iPhone, when I'm using the web and browsing the web with that Edge network, the all my calls go straight to voicemail. Mm -hmm. So uh, while I have it for that hour, before the battery dies, all my calls go to voicemail anyway, and basically I miss all the calls, and then the battery dies. This is not a good thing. So, so the way I have it now, I'll use this only for Wi-Fi. And what I'm doing also is I keep it in airplane mode. You see the little airplane up here. I keep it in airplane mode, which means airplane mode on is the same thing as saying wireless off. So there's no wireless activity, which makes the battery last like pretty much all day. So I just turn on wireless mode when I need it. Like once I get to the Wi-Fi network, I turn wireless mode on, and boom, it syncs up everything it needs to, or I browse the web, do whatever I want. When I'm done, I turn it off, turn off wireless mode, putting airplane mode back on, and my battery will last all day that way. Meanwhile, I've got the other phone, the Metro PCS phone, which um, is only for voice calls. I don't miss a single call. And for 40 bucks a month, I get unlimited long distance and local calling, uh, even unlimited text messaging, even well, I have the $45 plan, so I can travel to any city in the U.S., any of the major cities. Almost every major city and metro area has coverage. Yeah. And Except Chicago and D.C. that I'm aware of. Yeah, there's of. only two, I guess, Chicago and D.C. I'm sure they're obviously going to expand to there soon. But every other major city, like 600 cities or something, um, it has coverage. And... Um, what else? Oh, I also have unlimited text messaging, international text messaging, so I can text to my friends in London and so on. I mean, for 45 bucks a month, you pretty much get top of the line everything. And it does have a little web browser. It's got a little like, I don't know if they call it WAP, but it's it seems a little bit more sophisticated than WAP. I would call it like mobile formatted web browsing. It does have a little web browser in their phones, the Metro mm -hmm. PCS phones. Um, and it, by the way, it's metropcs.com, M-E-T-R-O-P-C-S.com. And what was I going to say? So I can go there and I can use Google and I can search for showtimes and stuff with this thing as well. But you know, if I have if I have access to Wi-Fi, of course, it's a lot nicer to use the iPhone. So basically, yeah, I'm somebody said I'm turning my um, I'm turning my iPhone into an iPod Touch with a camera. Right. And that's true. That's basically what it is. It's an iPod Touch with a camera. By the way, that's the other thing I do. I take pictures with it, and the pictures come out great. So I can still take pictures, and you email the pictures anyway. You do not need AT&T to do that. Right. Like, I'm telling you, 99% of everything I do with this thing has nothing to do with AT&T. Mm -hmm. And I've got a much better quality phone. Now, the Metro, I mean, phone service, Metro PCS, that little $29 phone, It's a, the one I bought is a Nokia 1606. Mm -hmm. Okay. And with that thing, I'm telling you, I can get on the elevator, go all the way down to the lobby, and it doesn't drop a call. I can use it, um, where else was I using it that I couldn't believe? In the basement, in the grocery store. Yeah, deep inside the grocery store. Or AT normally on the it, iPhone. It only works when the you're... The signal is not that great. Mm -hmm. When you're standing right by the front door, that's where it works. And if I go deep into the grocery store, he's back in the dairy department, I can't, it drops the call for sure. But that thing works everywhere. Yeah. And someone's asking, can you watch TV on an iPhone? No, you get... Technically, on the, on yes. No, no. Well, you can Not TV, no. You can, no, 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 you, YouTube. You've got YouTube only. Well, It doesn't yeah. have flash. The iPhone does not have flash. It only, you can only watch... Um, uh, YouTube videos and only YouTube videos that YouTube has formatted for the iPhone which it seems like now they're formatting all the videos on YouTube for iPhone eventually but yes. like as soon as you upload a video to YouTube it's not available right away but it seems from my experience uh, after about a week or a few days or something it's going around and converting because what it has to do did you know that it, it, it has yeah. to convert every video into a special format for the iPhone so every video on YouTube has to be reconverted, transcoded into a special iPhone 
video format, format right? Mm -hmm. Because Flash apparently, this you know, the the internet, this the connection is too slow mm -hmm. to play on the iPhone, and it, you know, even when it is like that. And how about through you have iTunes? Trouble. Can you get TV shows through there? Well, no, only video podcasts. So the only thing you can do with video on the iPhone that I know of is, uh, with the standard applications, is um, YouTube videos and video podcasts. But you can't watch TV. When they're talking about TV, they mean TV. Like NBC. Yeah, no. you can't watch you the live You go to NBC.com, ABCCBS.com, you cannot watch those. No. Because it doesn't have Flash. You can't do anything that requires Flash on an iPhone, sadly. And they're, they're mm -hmm. saying it's, you know, whatever. It's I don't know if it's... A limitation. It's got to be a limitation of the data network. And it's how big the file sizes are. Right? Yeah. Well, it's a big. That's what I mean. It's a, if it's a big file size, it has to stream down a big file through that data network, and mm -hmm. it's just not fast enough to keep up. It's kind of like, it's kind of like dial-up, but I think it's probably even. I don't know. I don't know the technical specs. So I'm not going to tell you wrong, but it might be about the data speed of a dial-up connection, which is not good. They call it. Mm -hmm. You know, they call these things like 3G. They call it cellular broadband okay well maybe it's broadband for cellular but it's not you know mm -hmm. it's definitely not uh, yeah. real broadband like we, we're used to at home it's a whole other scale so anyway I I think I'm gonna go for the Metro PCS too just to you are? well PCS. I will eventually you just told the whole world so now you're committed yeah well oh. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely committed to saving forty five dollars <laughs> A month. Five. Well, yeah, because <laughs> he's only going to save forty-five dollars a month because he's got the the one of the smallest plans, rate plans on the iPhone. Of course, I had to have the virtually it's unlimited because on you know you have rollover minutes and all that stuff, and so I have rollover minutes on the iPhone so that it's kind of enough that I would never be able to use that many. And basically, it's like the equivalent of an unlimited voice, unlimited text plan, and my, so altogether, including tax, it was like one fifty-five a month. Now. With the Metro PCS, including tax, it's about 53 a month. So it's I'm going to save more than $100 a month, $1,200 a year. And the way he shops for deals, that's like two 10-day cruises a year that I'll get. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, $1,200 is $1,200, no matter how you look at it. It's a huge savings. I know we're we're really spoiled um, with all of our fancy phones, and it's almost like. PCs used to be. Remember PCs used to be like, well, how big is your, how many gigahertz is your computer? <laughs> how much hard drive do you have? You know, now right. it's like, you know, it's like whatever. It's just a little commodity. It doesn't really matter. Nobody's right. impressed. I mean, it's like whatever. They it's don't so even cheap. ask anymore. No, it's so cheap. It's like they're almost throwaway. They're so cheap. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we're done with this segment. And press the button, link to go to the next part. And we'll be right back after the jump. See ya. Hey, um, oh, this is important, a really important point, because a lot of people, you know, <laughs> it's drilled into our head, we're brainwashed to think that, oh, breaking the contract, oh my gosh, when I got my phone, I signed a two-year contract or whatever, four-year, it doesn't matter, you could have had a hundred-year contract that you signed with, you know, Verizon or AT&T or T-Mobile or some such thing. Here's the thing, don't be afraid of breaking your contract. It's not like you're breaking the law. Breaking right. a contract is part of the contract. It's an escape clause. You're allowed to do it. All you have to do is pay a little fee or whatever the fee is. Now, what I found out, like in my case, breaking the contract is $175. But the fact is I'm paying them $155 a month. So it's almost the same amount as paying them one month. So I pay them one month and I'm done. Mm -hmm. I never pay them another penny. So if you do the math, think about it. I pay them one extra month and never another penny. And then I immediately start saving more than $1,200 a year. It's so worth it to break the contract because mine is over in June or July or something like that. But why would I pay $155 a month until June or July for no real reason? Mm -hmm. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to break the contract, which is an absolutely fine thing. It's not like it's going to go against your credit or like, you know, you did something bad. It's nothing wrong with it. You just say, I want to cancel my account and I want to pay the fee. You're ha they're happy to do it. People are so afraid they're going to pay $175 just like they committed a crime. It's not. It's an option that's built in. You're allowed to do that. It's doesn't, it's, does not It does not reflect negatively on you at all. In fact, it just shows that you're smart. Right. So you stop, <laughs> you stop that contract. You stop wasting $155 a month and you start paying $45 a month and you get unlimited you know, voice, data, text, 
and international texting and roaming anywhere in the nation, blah, blah, blah. And and it's a better call quality. So, and no, MetroPCS.com is not a sponsor, <laughs> just to, for the record. They're not a sponsor or anything. I just, I really love it so far. I've only had, <coughs> pardon me, I've only had it a couple weeks. So, you know, I'll update you if that changes. But so far, I'm really, really happy with their service. It works, uh, you know, like I said, when they first started, they were in Florida, and we lived in Florida at the time, and people hated it because the call quality was the worst. It would drop yeah. calls all the time, and it was, it was really novel because it was unlimited voice from the beginning, but the call quality was horrible. Now it's changed, and I'm telling you, it's better than AT&T, so... And it's expanded to the rest of the country, which makes a huge yeah. difference, especially when you travel. You sure. don't want to go somewhere and not have a... A phone that works. Yeah, we checked all the places that we go to frequently, like Columbus, Ohio, Cleveland, Nashville, LA. It doesn't matter. I mean, every place that we go to most frequently. Most of all of Florida. Is, yeah, almost all of Florida. Um, it's got coverage, and it's CDMA, I think it's called. So um, it's the same as Verizon, and I think there's one other car major carrier that uses CDMA. But anyway. That's technical. One but thing that you didn't mention was that there's no contract with this phone. Yeah, I, I mentioned it. Oh, okay. It. I didn't there's, hear. There's no contract, no credit check or anything. So you can try it. Jeez, I mean, the phone that I got is, I, I love it. I'm not going to get, on the on the Metro PCS, I'm not going for the smartphone or the, the big fanciness. No. You want just a simple, basic phone that's going to be for voice mainly. You can also use it for texting if you want to. But um, mainly, it's for me, it's a voice phone so that it's, to make those calls and receive those calls without fail. And it's $79 for the Nokia 1606, and then they give you one month free, which is, my plan is $45 a month. So 80 minus 45 is 35. So basically, it cost me $35 for that phone. <laughs> if you look at it that way, it's $35 for the phone and $45 a month for the service. Yeah. So, you know, if you don't like it, just, you know, throw away the phone or sell it on Craigslist, whatever. Right. You know, give it to me. But the, th the right. thing is that you can just try it with no contract if you don't like it. In fact, I think you can even, well, you can return the phone if you talked on it less than 60 minutes, whatever. But anyway, you just try it for a month or two, and if you don't like it, don't use it. Yeah. You can also transfer your number and keep your number, but I don't do that because I, what I did, I mean, when I try things, I'm very conservative about it. So I got a new number because if I decided right from the start, of course, if I don't like this thing, I'm just going to drop it and then I still have my old number. In fact, I have not canceled my AT&T service yet. I'm going to, I'm planning to, but I'm going to keep my AT&T service for like at least two or three months so I've had time to give everybody my new number. But I am giving everybody my new number and mm -hmm. slowly, you know, it's a transition process. And then if... That way, if I decide suddenly I learn something and I hate it, I can switch it back. I can mm -hmm. just, you know, put a recording on the new one, giving out the old one, or something like that. If I really had to, I have an escape to get back to it. If there was a, if I run into a big problem. But so far, I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. I'm so happy I did that. So I'll give it maybe two or three more months on AT&T service just to give everybody migrated over to the new number so I don't miss any calls or connections there. And then I will cancel the AT&T and just, you know, be on my new number. I'm not attached to a phone number that much yeah. because I can, you know, obviously I, we have email and, you know, the phone number can easily be distributed to whoever I need to reach me. And for those of you that are concerned about your number and keeping your number, uh, in the U.S. at least, I know you can... I mean, it take, it's some processing, but you can keep the same number. Yeah, no, it's actually, yes, that's right. And it only takes about 24 hours. Oh, I was wow. in the store when I was, there was a guy doing that. He was signing up for Metro PCS and um, at this dealer, the dealer at 42nd and 9th, they're really cool. The guys there, Mark and Mike, are really cool. And it's not a corporate store as a dealer, but anyway, they uh, there was a guy who came in and he wanted to keep his number. And they said, well, it should be working they say they quote up to 72 hours or something. He says, but usually, like, by tomorrow around 1 o'clock, it'll be working. So it doesn't, you know, the only hang-up there would be if you, you know, if you still owe Sprint some money or something and they won't release the number until you're paid in full, you've paid to cancel your contract or they're going to bill you for it or whatever the heck is involved, and then they release your number, so it's just paperwork stuff. But it happens very fast. It's very mm -hmm. efficient now. Mm-hmm. 
So it's good. So there's no contract. If you don't like it, you just drop it. You know, <laughs> keep your old phone. That's what I recommend: is keep your old phone, keep your old phone number, keep it active, and just get a Metro PCS phone, and then compare them side by side. And you know what I've even done is I've, I've taken the Metro PCS phone and my iPhone, and I've called him, and I've called different people and say switch back and forth on the call waiting, and which one sounds better? And for me, it's like the Metro PCS is like a thousand times better call quality. And also, I've called and left him a voicemail with the iPhone, and then I've called with the new phone, left him a voicemail, and I listened to both voicemails. There's no comparison. It's yeah, just a lot better call quality. Yeah. So, I mean, that's for that's my experience in Midtown Manhattan. Who knows? It might be different where you mm -hmm. live. I don't know. And yeah. I know that we have a global audience, and Metro PCS is not available outside of the U.S., right. so this is maybe only relevant. But here's the point. <laughs> Even if you're in Germany, in Berlin or whatever, um, there are these new carriers. Look for them because most, like the other major carriers in the U.S. have an, what they call a unlimited everything plans that are about $100. Like three of them are $100 and then Verizon's like 120 for the unlimited everything plan. Metro PCS is $40. And you want to support those carriers that are giving really good call quality and unlimited everything, whatever those carriers are in your local area. Because if you do that, the more people that jump ship and go with those companies, the more competition. Competition is always healthy. Right. And then the major carriers are going to be the forced. Price down. Yeah, the major carriers are going to be forced to reduce their rates to more reasonable cost. And that's yeah. all good. It's always good. And I know that in Europe, it's. Almost. Well, I know in France it's like a monopoly almost with the phone thing, and well, not a monopoly, but the government is in in so socialized or something. Like that. I don't know, but <laughs> I don't really know. But the thing, is, yeah, some countries it's a lot more expensive than others. Cell service and some like that's why texting has become so popular in some countries because um, the texting is expensive, but the voice is even more expensive and you know crazy expensive. We're, we're really spoiled that we have really low cost um, cell phone service here. I mean, how can you get any lower than that? I mean, their, their lowest, a any, what do they call it? Unlimited everything plan is $40 a month for unlimited everything. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't think there's any place in the world that's that cheap. Canada is famous for its expensive cell phone service too. Right. But that's why no matter what country, no matter where you live, you want to um, support these new carriers that are coming out with um, low-cost service. All right, we'll be right back after the jump. Make sure you click to go to the next mm -hmm. segment, and we'll be right back. And we're back. We weren't we're gone long. We're back on the last or final segment, I guess, of, of today's show. Money Monday. And for those of you, uh, we have uh, a, a live you streamers uh, that are with us right now. And for those of you that are on here right now, well, just about a minute ago, there was a, stand, uh, a screen that was fixed in the background, and hopefully in the future we'll have a f another fixed item up there that's of interest. So whatever you saw back there is of no relevance. What it's a see? movie. It, it says oh, a production a company or something. Yeah. This is a black screen. Black screen. Yeah. yeah. Now it's my screensaver. Isn't that exciting? Yeah. But anyway, no, what's going to happen is when, as soon as we get a guest on Skype arranged, the, the guest will be right here. So you're going to see them like 1984 Big Brother right here. We'll be talking to them no matter where they are. So that's what will appear there in the future. So somebody says, I don't know who this is, but 28701 in the chat room, you streamer says, I have a track phone with no monthly charge and I can receive texts for free. Yeah, those track phones are good. And those are, I think that's like a pay-as-you-go Right, it's a go deal. prepaid plan. Mm -hmm. And um, they, no monthly charge is good. You can receive texts for free. That's fine. I don't know. You know, some of those are cheap. There's, you know, some of them you can actually get down to like $10 a month if you don't use your phone much. But for people who use their phone a lot, like I do, you know, if you use 1,500 minutes a month or something, there's nothing that can compare to an unlimited plan. Yeah. Plus, sending... Is that, is that track phone here in the U.S., I'm yeah. assuming? Yeah. yeah, it's everywhere. Yeah. It's well, not everywhere, but it's uh, it's a lot. That's yeah. what Steve has and John have. And, yeah. and one thing to keep in mind with some of those is um, that even though you might charge $50 of minutes, that they, don't, they expire after a, a few months well, or something. I don't know about track phones. We're not going to say specifically about track no, phones. No, but, but some of those pay-as-you-go plans. plans, that's right, they, the minutes might expire after three months or four months. So whatever you pay into your account, 
you know, those minutes can expire. So you really have 90 days, they're saying. Okay. Yeah, 90 days. So and sometimes they roll them over if you no. charge more. Well, yeah, yeah. You have to... No, we're not talking about track phone. We're talking about prepaid, prepaid phones plans. in general. Some of them right. um, have a deal where they expire after 90 days. And... But if you recharge it and you add more minutes, then those may extend longer than 90 days. Right. So um, that's kind of, to me, I mean, that's fine. If you, ha if you hardly use it, if it's just a real occasional use thing, that's fine. But what I personally, it's very annoying if suddenly I go to make a call and it says insufficient funds on the screen or somebody's trying to call me and it won't work. That I don't like that. I, I want it to be automatic and unlimited. I don't, you know. But, if you know, that can come down to... You can get it down to like ten or twenty dollars a month, and yeah. for very very occasional use, that's fine. Yeah, it's but great. I personally, I'd rather pay thirty dollars a month and get the the unlimited Metro PCS thing and because get rid then of your home phone. And yeah, yeah, you can that justifies that expense. If you have an unlimited plan, you can get rid of your landline at home, which a lot of people like. Actually, I read a statistic that Metro PCS customers, they Metro PCS says that their eighty percent of their customers use it as their home phone. So if you use it as your home phone and you have unlimited long distance in the US, you really can eliminate your home phone, which are not cheap. I mean, they're like 15 to $20 minimum, uh, some a lot more than that. And if you eliminate your home phone, you pretty much paid for it. And it's actually yeah. cheaper than, using, than having a home phone and a track phone. Right. So that's something definitely to look into. Mm -hmm. Where do you get a Metro PCS? Go to MetroPCS.com. There you go. That's an easy question. I put the and link in before, but I'll put it again because the people that are coming in live now can't see it. Yeah, but the recorded people, the 99% of our audience doesn't see what you're typing. Right. It's MetroPCS.com. It's just M-E-T-R-O-P-C-S.com. That's how you you can find out about its coverage in your area and what the you can find the local dealers and you can find all that stuff. Right. Um, it's not available everywhere. It's not going to work in the countryside. That's another thing. You know, it works like in Metro New York City. It works all the way past Newark Airport. Way almost. It works all the way to Westbury, Connecticut. I think. So it works in the major metropolitan areas, but it's not going to work um, way out in the middle of nowhere in the country. Right. But for me, I don't care. First of all, I don't go to those places that often. Secondly, if I do go way out in the middle of the country, I'm going to be with seven friends who all have a cell phone with Verizon or AT&T or something. So I'll, you know, if I need to make a call, I can make a call. Mm -hmm. The vast majority of people, yeah. yeah, Milwaukee. It's in Milwaukee, but not in Chicago, so... They'll have it. Yeah, they have uh, really good coverage, I think, in Milwaukee, that whole entire... Well, you look. Just go to metropcs.com and look at coverage. There's a map of Put the whole coverage Put in your zip code area. and it'll show you the whole area that it's covered. Right. So what I end up with, like I say, is one phone for voice and, and, and a mobile internet device that I use just with Wi-Fi. And it works brilliantly. I don't miss a call and it works fantastic. And the whole setup cost me $45 a month um, instead of $155 a month. So that's... I'm really happy about that. And the other thing I want to say really mm -hmm. quick, I know it's the very end of our hour, but I want to say this too. Um, if you haven't already, <laughs> you might consider this. This month, this last month, I dropped cable TV. We canceled our cable TV box, you know, the cable TV service. We kept the internet connection through it, but we dropped the cable TV. So we don't have a cable box. We're watching all of our TV through the internet now, which right. is not as bad as you think, <laughs> because now you can download... Um, you can download pretty much all television and all movies and everything you'd ever want to see you can download through the internet now and if you don't know how to do that just watch our show on Thursdays because we're going to get into all that stuff um, about exactly how to do it it's really easy and we watch movies, TVs, everything with commercial free on demand whenever we want to watch it and we don't have to pay for the cable box now just for canceling that by the way like for example in Manhattan in New York City there's no tax on internet service. Our internet service is high speed broadband, twenty nine ninety five a month, no tax. Right. On cable TV, there's taxes out the wazoo. You know how that works. It's like cell phones. There's a lot of taxes. We ended up saving a hundred and eleven dollars, one one one, hundred and eleven dollars a month by canceling the cable box. Right. And we were watching. Well, we had a landline on top of it too, so that added to it. That's right. Our package included a landline, and we canceled that. We never used it anyway. Well, we used it as a fax machine, but we don't need that. You know, you can scan it in and use email. Everybody uses email anyway. So we saved $111 a month by canceling the cable TV 
a cable box, including the landline and stuff, and keeping only the internet access. We haven't even noticed. I mean, it hasn't been a problem at all. So we saved no. a lot of money by doing that. So cancel your cable TV box if you want. <laughs> and because and we had a full channel lineup on our cable TV, when we canceled it, then they canceled everything except the basic cable, I guess, or something like that. So we can no, still see some of the cable. <laughs> no, they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna cancel everything. You, but you watch all your TV through the internet, right? But that's the point. But the uh, what I was gonna say was, you cancel your cable box, you cancel your telephone, your landline through it, um, and oh, darn, I forgot. Anyway, the in, in, cancel your AT and T on your iPhone and just use it as a mobile right. internet device to get Metro PCS. You end up saving a lot of money, right? And I think Nancy was asking, Metro PCS have Blackberries? No. Metro PCS is pretty much, in my opinion, for what I would recommend using it for is telephone only. So remember, you get that little $29 phone and you use it for voice calls. You use your BlackBerry or whatever whatever device you have, you use a mobile internet device on Wi-Fi. So my recommended solution, the Metro PCS for the voice and a mobile internet device for your Wi-Fi. You do not you have to have two pieces with this. If you want to have the, the BlackBerry or the iPhone, you use it on Wi-Fi and um, because they don't really have the whole smartphone thing for Metro PCS. It's voice. Yeah. Not yet. They're working on it, though. We'll see what happens in the future. That's, you know, yet to be determined. Sure. Our hour is up. Thanks Great. for joining us. Thanks for joining us, guys. We, we love, love you all. Lots of kisses to everyone <laughs> around the world, and we hope to see you again and tune in to one of our shows later Same this time, week. Same time tomorrow, 12 noon New York time, but you can watch it on demand anytime you want, brucewagner.com, and soon we'll have the whole setup where you can watch it uh, online at bruceanded.com. Thanks for joining us. Yes, thank we'll you. See you. Same time tomorrow, and follow me on Twitter too, Bruce Wagner on Twitter, and Edward Gell. It's spelled like gel, Edward, G-E-L, on Twitter as well. Thanks, Gary. Right. We'll Bye. Have a happy, happy day <laughs> and save lots and lots of money. <laughs> Bye. Bye.